I moved those two crayfish outside. The only reason I had them inside was because it's too warm. It, it was too warm outside, but now it's starting to cool down because it's becoming fall. So I moved them outside. Um, Steve Jr. wasn't here, but I just took him out and put them in this jar, and he's on his back again. Um, there. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? Oh, yeah, he was in there, but now I'm going to release him. And after I release him, I'm going to clean out this tank a little bit and then move these guys into there. And, uh, yeah, let's go release him. And also, I found out what's wrong with him. So, first, I saw on Google that, like, signs of molting are them flipping over, which he was doing, slowing in movement, which he was doing, and slowing in appetite, which he was also doing. And then I'm like, oh, okay, that must be what it is. So then I looked up, how long does it take a crayfish to molt? And I said, for a large crayfish, it takes about three to five days. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. He's been doing it for about two days. But then it was like seven days, and he still hadn't molted. So then I'm like, hmm, I wonder what's up. So then I look closely, and he's on his back again. Um, I'll show you closer, like, once we get to the spot we're releasing him at. But, um, found out what's wrong with him, he... He doesn't have eyes. Yeah, he's completely blind. Both of his eyes are missing. Probably got into a fight with another crayfish. But um, yeah, let's go release him. So we're at the canal. Um, I've been. I saw like ten frogs just from walking over here. Also, um, if you know where this is, and you're the person who put this piece of wood here, thank you. It's it's very useful as a bridge and a place to set my net. Okay, Steve Jr., let's go. Let's release him. All right, we got him in the net. Now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about him. So, I've been feeding him two fish a day, and because he's blind, um, well, I'll show you that first. So he's missing that eye right there. It's completely gone. And then this eye is also Completely gone. He's he has no eyes. Focus, please. Ignore the children screaming in the background, please. Um, they're on a family walk or something. I don't know. Um. Yeah. What was I saying? Oh yeah. So I feed him twice. I feed him little mosquito fish, little minnows twice a day, and um, I just put the fish in his claws, and he pinches down on it, and then eats it up. And that's what I've been feeding him. But um, this is where I cut him. This is exactly where I cut him. And um, by Steve Jr. Um, you're not on your back, are you? <laughs> of course he is. No, upright. Yeah, there you go. Bye, buddy. Oh, I'm still filming. I thought I stopped. My fingers are too wet, and I can't hit the stop recording button. There's one of the flogos I was talking about. Let's see if I can capture Nate him. Oh. Hi. It's the flogo. <gasps> Parkour. He's doing parkour. Yeah, he's gone. I don't know if I actually got footage of him, but um, yeah. All right, guys, meet Jessica. She lets me get really close to her. She actually let me pet her once. I can identify that it's her because she has a scratch on one side of her body. And um, she got that when mating with a male. And that's also why she doesn't have a family because she's too scared to mate again because that one male's horns so scratched her on the side. I'm gonna see if she's gonna let me pet her again, cause she does sometimes. I don't know, she's just walking away. She doesn't want to get any closer. But um, yeah, that's Jessica. Okay, bye Jessica, have a good day. So um, yeah, I was watching the footage of uh, the, the footage I just filmed of Jessica, and I said that the male's horns scratched her. <laughs> yeah, I said that cause I'm a freaking idiot. I meant to say antlers. Horns and antlers are very different. Deals have antlers, not horns. Sorry for that. I'm not I'm not too smart. I had a bad algae bloom in my pond and because of that all the fish and stuff died. But um thankfully Moby didn't die. 
and Moby actually left for like three months, but he just came back a few days ago. Here he is. Nothing else is in the pond right now. He's the only person here. Well, he's not a person, but he's the only animal here. Moby, seriously. And look how much he grew, too. And it is still him. It's the same he does. Because I look. It's, his feet are starting to go back a little bit. They have skin on it now. Right there. And he is starting to go fingers on that leg. The bo the finger bones are starting to go back. But yeah, in those three months he was gone, look how much he grew. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. He didn't like being pet on the back. Okay. Uh, I don't know where I just went. <laughs> But um, yeah, he's really healthy, and he got a lot bigger, and his legs are going back, and he's doing good. I have a frog in here that I caught with my friends. I named him Orange because he has orange eyes, and I gotta find him. But um, I'm gonna take him out of the tank right now and move him into my pond. Um, I don't know where he is. He won't come out though. There we go. There was Owen. It's not the lighting is really good, but uh, you, you can kind of see it. He's on dries. Alright, let's take him up to the pond. Okay. So we're at the pond, and um. I got orange here. Well, he's gone now. Um, I was gonna give you a better look at his eyes, but uh, he has disappeared. Hey, Moby, how's it going? Actually, your eyes are kind of orange too. But um, I don't know where he just went. Um. He disappear. You want some help? There you go. Gee, I'm sorry, man. Okay. Yeah, look how much he grew. And in case you don't remember, like, how big he was before he left, I don't know if you got a good look at Orange before he jumped away, but um, that's about how big Moby used to be. And look how big compared to my hands here. Compared to my hand, he is now. And there's another look at his feet. They're going back well. But uh, yeah, Moby's doing good. And Orange is in the pond. I do not know where he went though. Um, but uh, yeah, when I find him, I'll give you another look at him, so you can, so I can show you how big Moby used to be. Here's another friend I caught today. Toto. She is a female. We haven't named her yet. But, um, yeah. She's a pretty little musk turtle. And she always looks like she's smiling. She's so cute. Look at his claws. I mean, her claws. Dang it. <laughs> her claws. Foot. But, uh, yeah. That's really so. Okay. We down here at the lake. And we are releasing her. Go on. And then uh, my two crawfish, Frankie and Claw are also doing very well um so uh, yeah um after releasing steve jr i moved them into their new home and uh frankie has already made some renovations there was an opening right there in this white thing but um she i mean he frankie's the male um went in there and built up a little wall of rocks at the entrance 
and then dug a little hole. So instead of that being the entrance and exit, that's the entrance and exit, and that's a wall. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure where Claw is, but um, yeah, Frankie's in there, and they're doing good. Um, please ignore that noise, my neighbor is mowing the lawn. Anyway, um, I hope you can hear me. So I can't find either of the frogs, I can't find Orange or Moby, They're probably in the bushes or something. So um, I'm just gonna post this video now, and like, I'll probably make like a shorts, a short video, talking about, like showing you the size difference, so you can understand. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, see you then.